we are live right now and let's give it a few seconds to see if uh, see if some people will come in uh, to view us hopefully we'll have some viewers this morning um, I want to introduce myself. My name is William Blundell with How the Old West Was. Uh, we're here with a very special guest today. Uh, thank you for joining in with us. Uh, if you're if you're tuning in to us on on live on the Facebook, and uh, we're talking about Billy the Kid and what happened to him at the uh, at the museum with Sue Landon. Good morning, Sue Landon. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine, William. How are you? I'm doing great. I think this is going to... Can I correct you to say the last name is Land, L-A-N-D? Okay. Sure. Okay. I mean, uh, we all make mistakes, right? So. Not me. I'm perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I look a little rough today because I'm getting ready for, uh, for another show that I'm going to be doing myself. But anyway, we're here to talk to you about uh, Billy the Kid Museum and, and what actually happened to him. Some people don't know that, so we're going to uh, let you explain some information. Uh, when did Billy the Kid die? In December 1950, on the streets of Hyco, Texas. He had a heart attack. Okay, you want to elaborate a little bit, or do you have some more insight? Well, uh, he uh, was, you know, 91, almost 91 years old, three days away from being that, and his health wasn't good at all, and he had just been to New Mexico trying to get a, a pardon that had been promised to back in the 1800s by the Governor Wallace, but he didn't get it, and he was very upset, and the, he came back to Ico, uh hoping that it would still happen, but uh, he was walking to the post office to mail a letter for his wife, and he had a heart attack out on the streets, and he died there. Wow. Um, I'm sure he lived a, lived a, lived a dangerous life, did, right? Well, actually, he did up until he got too old to do it all. He right. worked, when he came back into Texas, uh, he worked for uh, Judge Parker up in the Oklahoma Territory, returning stolen horses. He worked for the uh, Texas Rangers at one point. He was with them, and then he worked, on, uh, he trained horses for Roosevelt's uh, horses that were going to Cuba. So wow. uh, he led a pretty interesting life, if not anything else. Right, I bet. I bet he did. Um, through his through his life, I I, I always kind of wonder, did he have a family or or anything? Did he? He had no children, and he was married. In fact, he was married three times. He was married to his third wife when he passed away. I see. Do you have dates on those when when he was married? Uh, time span or anything? No, I do not. Before me, I do not know the dates of them. Or, uh, I just know that he was married at the time of his death, and uh, she uh, moved out of Haiku and went to live with her sister after he passed away. But I don't have a date on when they were married. Okay. Um, so you believe that Pat? <coughs> pardon me. So you believe that Pat Garrett did not shoot Billy the Kid? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, there's a young man that lives in Pennsylvania, Daniel Edwards. He said he was watching Young Guns uh, about the hundredth time, and he thought, you know, there ought to be some way this day and age to prove was Brushy Bill or William Henry Roberts telling the truth, was he really Billy the Kid? So he set out to prove it, one way or the other, was it lie or truth, and he ended up proving it. Uh, so I do believe that Billy the Kid was not shot and killed by Pat Garrett, and mainly because the night of the shootout, there was a young man killed, Billy Barlow, but that young man had a beard. Uh, Billy did not. He had peach fuzz. And also the young man was dark-complected, and Billy wasn't. So even if he'd used berries trying to dye his skin for a darker color, he couldn't have grown a beard because he wasn't able to at that point. But then the main reason why is there was a deputy marshal there that night, and he rolled the body over, and he told Pat Garrett it was not Billy the Kid. 
And wow. so, and nobody paid any attention to it because Pat Garrett said that was Billy the Kid and he buried Billy the Kid and didn't let any of the town people see it. Well, along comes Mr. Edwards back in 2014 and he finds the report that the deputy had filed stating uh, that that was not Billy the Kid that was shot and killed. But not only that, well, a long time before that, the gov uh, Attorney General of New Mexico kept issuing a warrant for Billy's arrest about two years afterwards, uh, hoping that, uh, it, that somebody would see him and report him or turn him in. And then finally he gave up, and I think when I believe his remark was, or his statement was, we no longer believe Billy the Kid is in New Mexico. Not that he was dead, but not in New Mexico. So, yeah, I, I believe it. I see. I um... see. I guess another question, what I, what I, what kind of like goes through my mind about about this stuff too, is um, where was Billy the Kid actually located? I mean, he was all over the country in New Mexico, right? Well, when he well, the shootout in in 1881 July when they had the shootout, he was wounded and he was able to get out of uh, town by the help of some of the town people that knew him, and he made it to a, a sheep herders camp where he recuperated. Then he went into Mexico where he stayed about three years, and after that he came into Texas. But when he came back into Texas, he did not tell anybody who he was, and uh, for the rest of his life he lived with that secret and not did not ever tell anyone until in 1950 when the uh, investigative uh, detective came from Florida looking for him because he had been told by a man out in Florida that he was alive and living in Texas. The man that told him that was Jess Evans who had ridden with Billy back in New Mexico. So he lived uh, in Texas for the rest of his life. He did go out of Texas like working for Judge Parker up in Oklahoma and things like that but he never did go back to New Mexico. Oh wow. Uh but I guess he, he went through New Mexico, right, Some uh, at some point in time? Not as far as I'm aware of, he did not. Not after he left, not after the shooting. Oh, okay. Um, he's, he's got, uh, he's well known into the history of, of, the, of the media, so to speak, and, and different oh. things that was going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hollywood made a really good hero villain out of him, and they told a lot of stories, and they all led to the same thing, Pat Garrett shot and killed him, because that's all they knew, and so that's what they did. Now, the, right now, he is very popular. Uh, we have uh, Bill O'Reilly on the Fox Network. He did a documentary called Legends and Lies, and his seventh in that series was on Billy the Kid. He came to the same conclusion, brush your bill, what's Billy the Kid? And uh, also, he's uh, he has a tremendous following his history does of uh, in international market. We have people coming in the museum here in Heiko, Texas from mm -hmm. all over the world. Wow. And one of our favorite right. co countries that a lot of people come from is Australia. They wow. love Billy the Kid. I ask them why Billy the Kid, because he was an outlaw, a killer, and that kind of thing, is what, what his reputation was. And they said, well, they're not rooting for that guy. They're rooting for the 14-year-old kid to have made it. Right. You know, uh, just just uh, seeing some of the history about Billy the Kid and that, that kind of thing is, is like this. Our interview here with you today is, is going to open up a lot of people's eyes in the aspects of which what really happened to Billy the Kid. Uh, well, that's true. And if they want to watch that Bill O'Reilly uh, documentary, they can go on YouTube and watch it. It's there. Right. It's the number seven. Right. Uh, we're we're all about you today. So basically, uh, you know, let's let's go to to another question that I have for you is is uh, what makes you believe that uh, Pat Garrett really did not shoot Billy the Kid, and and where was this event that happened? Well, uh, the, it was in New Mexico, July of 1881, and it was a shootout at night. Uh, uh, he was, uh, and Pat Garrett shot the young man from the back thinking it was Billy the Kid. That was a third person he had shot in the back thinking he was killing Billy the Kid. So that's why he had to bury Billy this time, even though the deputy told him it was not. And that's basically why I believe it. The deputy there that night rolled the body over and told Pat Garrett he, that was not Billy the Kid. So that's why I believe it. 
and wow. uh, and he even filed his report stating that. So I don't think he would have filed that otherwise. And so that's why I believe. Okay, uh, we have some we have some viewers on here. We got eleven viewers so far. Uh, you guys that are that are viewing this, uh, go ahead and throw in some questions. Uh, there's one question here that says, "I believe Garrett tried to save Billy by by saying he was he was dead. That's why Billy never never went back to the uh, back to New Mexico." What do you well, think about that? Well, I really don't think Pat Garrett was a very good friend. You don't shoot a friend in the back. And that's what he thought he was doing. He really thought it was Billy the Kid. He didn't know who he was shooting. And that's evident that has been stated all throughout history, that he shot him in the back. It was dark. Billy had stopped at the door of Pete Maxwell's room where Garrett was. It was dark inside the room. And uh, when Billy spoke, he wasn't even looking in the room. He was looking out toward the little orchard where there were some people, or horsemen, I believe it was, that was. he saw movement, and he would ask what, who was out there. And when he said those words, uh, Pat Garrett shot and killed him. And then walked right past him without even looking, saying, I've killed Billy the Kid. So I don't think that's an uh, action of a friend, do you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want my friend shooting me in the back, that's for sure. I don't hardly think so, uh, you know. Laying in wait in ambush for him. He was, I, I, you know, I mean, that's, it's, uh, well, it's not a friend I would want, that's for sure. No, no. And, and, and you believe that this, that this really happened? I mean, this is one of the questions that, that we want to ask you. So, uh, uh, you, you've already told us several times and times before that uh, you believe that this actually happened the way that uh, Billy the Kid uh, lived his life and that kind of thing. So, uh, the the justice that was actually done on Billy the Kid was there any kind of like court hearings, uh, and where was it placed at? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, what kind of? Uh, I there, didn't really thoroughly understand the question. So would you ask oh, again? Okay. Uh, do you know if there was any court hearings for Billy the Kid and where it was where it was done? Well, you mean what type of court hearings? Do you mean the, uh, in the later years or yeah, the, back before the shooting or what? Before, uh, you know, after the shooting and all that kind of stuff. That way people uh, would know. Well, uh, in 1950, uh, William Morrison, that detective from Florida that uh, found Billy and talked with him and got his story, and he checked it out to the point that he believed that the truth of it. Uh, they went to New Mexico to have a hearing with the governor, and it was supposed to be just the governor and his secretary and some historian. Anyway, it wasn't supposed to be a bunch of people there, no reporters or anything like that. But when they get there, now you've got a 90-year-old man who has a bad heart and he's not in good health at all. But they, the room is full of reporters, flash bulbs going off, people standing around uh, below uh, with all kinds of guns on them. And Billy knew he was wanted for murder, and he knew that he could be arrested. And that was one of the fears he had uh, in exposing who he was. So anyway, he became very agitated. They thought he was having a, a heart attack, so they laid him down on a sofa in another room. And the governor, without ever looking at any of the proof that they had brought with them, said he was wasn't going to bother because he didn't believe it. He was just a sick old man. So that was the only hearing Billy ever got after he left New Mexico. Wow. And uh, I guess that goes to the uh, to the last question I want to ask you is is so Daniel Edwards changed the way of history into into this with with the outcome of people thinking that Pat Garrett was the one that killed Billy the Kid, right? Yes, they did, and they are changing that, but now the historians tell us that they will not change it and say that our guy was Billy the Kid, not without a DNA report. Well, we could take DNA from Brush's bones, but you have no living descendant to check, so there's no way of proving it. So they will never change that, but they do say most likely he was. Right, right. So is there anything else that, uh, that we can show to the... Uh the viewers out there that uh, that may want to know some more information about Billy the Kid and about uh, a little bit more about his history that you, that you may want to share with them. 
Well, we have a, a book that Daniel Edwards wrote, which takes everything that Brush uh, recorded back in 1950, and uh, Daniel t took each thing he said, and that he went point by point on that. So if you wanted the book, you could order it. Now, you can get it from BillyTheKidMuseum.com, order it from there, and we'll ship it to you. Uh, or you can get it from Amazon. It's all the same price. It's, uh, it doesn't matter which place, other than we'd like for you to buy it from the Billy the Kid Museum. Exactly. And uh, we have, uh, you know, the uh, on our face our website, we have some information on Billy that you might want to look at and see and read what is there. Uh, other than that, it's just you go on uh, the Internet, you Google Billy the Kid, and you're going to get 15,000 different things. Right, and that might right. be stretching it a little bit, but that's it's a lot of information there on Billy. Right. Most of it is wrong. Some of it is really wild, but it's there. Right. So, uh, hold on a second. Uh, uh, so, whenever people want to come to Billy the Kid, can you tell the audience out there, because some of them may not even know where it's at, uh, where you're Billy located? The, Billy the Kid Museum is in Haco, Texas. Now, Haco, Texas is a wonderful little t uh, town. It's rural. It's a cow town. It has a lot of history. We, it was settled here in 1854, and our streets are wonderful. We still have some of the old front stores and buildings that we're keeping all the old western theme on it. We have a beautiful old hotel here, the Midland Hotel, which was built back in the 1800s and even had a couple of fires, but it has been refurbished and remodeled and it is absolutely gorgeous. We have a lot of fun things going on in Haiko. We are, people are finding us more and more these days because they don't want to travel Interstate 20 or Interstate 35. They take our 281 and they come to Haiko. They see us passing, they see our sign saying Billy the Kid, and they pull in. So it's really a great little town. We have a wonderful food. We have lots of different events. If you look us up on our uh, Facebook and web page websites, you'll find all the different events, like April the 1st. We are having a car show. It's our seventh annual year, and we always have a Billy the Kid open car show on the first Saturday of April. Just happens to be April Fool's Day this time, but it's not going to be an April Fool. I promise it's going to be a great show. Then we have all kinds of different events going on uh, during the year. So you just need to follow our website and our Facebook pages, and that way you'll see what we're doing. Okay, so um, this is... The information people out there that that uh, Sue Land has has given to you, uh, you know, take it take to heart. Uh, Billy the Kid is is uh, is one of the exhibits that they do, but they also do other exhibits. We'll do those in later shows, and and talk to the uh, and, and give some information about it in that direction. So. Uh, we want to thank you, Sue, for uh, coming on How the Old West Was uh, show this morning. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of insight on this. You folks go out there, uh, you go to the museum, enjoy yourself this summer. Uh, is there anybody else that has a question before we wrap the show up? I'm going to give you a few seconds there. Uh, in, in, in that being said, too, uh, Sue, how long have you been there at Billy the Kid Museum? Since April 2009. Okay. So you, so you have a lot of history of, of, the, uh, of the events that's, that's happening, future events and all that kind of thing that's going on, folks. Uh, oh, go we to do. The... We have it all over, all over Facebook, and of course yep. on our website we have it also. Uh, Haiko is a really great little town. It really is. There's a lot of friendly people, and we have a lot of fun. Like we have shootouts on the street. Uh, we'll have some gunfighters here on April the 1st, and we have uh, street dancing. Line dancers are out in the street. So we have, when we do something, we do it up bang. You know, that's what Texas is known for. Right, right. Is there any other groups that uh, that actually go to uh, go to your establishment there? Uh, uh, now, when you're referring to groups, so we have like reenactment groups. groups. 
uh, you know, coming in, uh, they'll call us ahead and say we're going to be there on such and such date, and uh, there'll be about 20 of us or 25 or 30. And uh, so we arrange to be sure that we're open and everything is ready. We even have a historian here, and usually in period clothing, and she explains all about the wonderful history that HICO has and the, the, the exhibits that we have here on HICO. And then she goes right back on into the other room with Billy the Kid, and, and we answer and explain everything. And they all seem to really enjoy it. We have some great groups coming in. Nice. Uh, there again, too, thank you, Sue, for joining us on How the Old West Was show. Uh, we hope to have you back on the show and talk about some of the other things that you do in the history. Uh, you guys come <laughs> visit well, yes. okay, I would love to, and thank you so much, William. We really enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and you guys, You're you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, continue on in in seeing the show that that we're going to uh, expose, maybe later on, and and some of the other shows that that we'll be able to do. So, thank if you, you, William. You're very welcome, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You.